when you when you painted your watercolor color lion, that's, mm -hmm. I always have to say that's for me that's one of your more striking, one of the most striking mm -hmm. of your paintings. Um, what's going on in that painting? Uh, what's mm -hmm. going on in you when you're painting it? So that watercolor line, I think I made in January, January one of twenty. 20 maybe because I did a series of six watercolor animals I remember um and that lion um I don't know even in that way you can see it has a flow like a it's mm -hmm. it's not truly abstract because I I'm not an abstract artist I actually can't can't think that way it's very hard for me I have to have some literal something literal I'm very illustrative more than abstract but I just love the 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 brightness but the softness mm -hmm. of that that lion's mane mm -hmm. and um and just that the face, I remember I wanted to make the face was just going to be just that little bit of drawing mm -hmm. and the rest was just going to be a flowy oh. thing. Yeah. yeah. I love yeah. it. Now, the colors are incredible. Um, do you often feel things when you're, when you're painting mm -hmm. or doing art and what kind of things do you feel? Um, I, I, I feel um, whole. I feel satisfied. I feel um, there's a, there's a joy, not a yippee yippee joy, but there's that, that solid joy that comes from the Lord. So I know that it's something I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm striving. I wasn't striving. Actually, I was working hard, but I wasn't striving. You know, and you're trying, you want something, you're trying to make it happen, but it's not really what God's mm -hmm. making happen. You got to ask him, am I joining you in something or am I totally joining mm -hmm. myself? You know? This painting uh, of uh, the title on it was just mini. It's the child. Uh, the child looking up. Yes. Uh, yeah. And so then that, you have a, have a caption under, uh, at the bottom of it. I, whenever I, I do people, it's usually like there's some kind of expression, emotion, emotion in their faces, you know, uh, not like a typical, hey, I'm smiling for a, a, a school picture kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And so I just really liked like that. That kid was like, like hopeful, but he looked like he had a really hard time. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm inspired by, there'll be like some little, idea a word or words or an essence it's not even like a full thing in my mind but and i'll dwell on that for a little while and then it'll kind of come to fruition a little more and a little more and, and then i'll put it down on the page <laughs> um, what's the most uh happy uh one of your creations has made you the first chalk art festival i did in 2013 um and i michaela came and helped me she was in college i think at the time and we drew this uh big sun dragon and um hmm. i didn't and that was my first time i ever worked with chalk and you know, our fingers are raw because we had probably the roughest spot on all of, of <laughs> Lara square and you know it was hot and we got done and, and so i went home and somebody called and was like tessa where are you? They just called your name. You won best in show. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm like, I, the kids were hungry and I'm hot. And we went home. You know? <laughs> and, and I was like, that was God telling me. That was literally the second thing I ever did, like in the public. And, and God, I was like, God, you are so funny. But, like reviewing my, my history, not as an artist, but my history in this season with God mm -hmm. and, how I feel, I want to cry. I feel really humbled that he's allowed me to, to do this in my life, you know, because for a long time, I, I, you know, we homeschool our kids. I was a mother, you know, all the young kids thing. You get a little uh, lost. Mm -hmm. and moms might understand this a lot, but you kind of don't know who you are sometimes uh, or you or who you used to be. Or I'm just I'm, I'm this now and I can't do that. But God was like always kind of saving some of it you know like he'd let me do some music or he'd let you know have opened something up for me to do a little of something else but i always felt like it was like you gotta wait it's deferred <laughs> it's like, but he didn't defer it so much that um what's that what's that um proverb hope deferred uh what makes is it the heart sick. Yeah. makes the heart sick and he's like he'd never let my heart get like sick he'd be like oh here's something to do and i'd be like oh cool you know i'd jump into whatever creative thing that was and then it'd be nope but i got it i committed and i'm 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 the mother i'm the teacher i'm the whatever i'm doing i was committed 100 percent to it i wasn't gonna like let that fall by the wayside when i turned and showed you that elephant it's painted on recycled doors um right before that i painted on another set of doors this lion and i've kept it for myself and i i've called called them my guardians these two giant paintings i just kept them because this lion he just reminds me you know god's presence and um 
I don't know, this it's simple, it's steady, it's solid. It, mm-hmm. you know, it's always, always there. And I look at that and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm okay. It's not like a, oh yeah, I'm happy, but it's like, right. I, this is, this is real what um, I'm doing. Of yeah. substances. Yeah. yeah. What about the other side? Uh, has, has, have you felt compelled to create something that was very hard, that was uh, emotional, that, uh, <laughs> that you had to work through some pain or to release some pain in order to create it. So I do commissions for mm-hmm. people. And so there was something that I created. Uh, hmm. So uh, one of my best friends uh, passed away. It's been two years, just slightly over. Uh, she was killed in a, in a bizarre car wreck. And um, so her daughter asked me to paint a, a portrait of her mother. So I had to look at her picture over and over and over and over, you know, and, and every time, you know, I'd cry, but I was also laughed because we laughed all the time together mm. thing, you know, or something I'd think of to, to share with her that was funny, or she was just a, a really um, upbeat person, even though she'd been through a lot of hell. And that was probably the hardest thing because knowing I, I want to, I think I'm going to see, you. oh, I'm not seeing you, you know, oh, I want to share this with you. I can't share with you or, you know, just, and having to look at her photographs, you know, over and Mm -hmm. over while I'm, while I was painting this, that was probably the hardest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If, if, uh, if your art can uh, create an effect in a person who's looking at it, uh, ideally, what is your art doing? I like to make people smile with my art. But not in like a oh that's so amusing silly way, but it's like ah that that's touching something in me smile or you know like you're con- like we talked a little bit earlier about connection, like I I think someone should have a connection to the art you know.